guys, it's me again, Dubs here, doing How to Not Suck in Valkyrian Skies. I'm joining you with Colonel Bob again. Hello! Hello! We're building airships! This time, we're building an airship. Everything you need to know about an airship. And this time, it won't be a disaster like the, the submarine. <laughs> no, it will be glorious. Now, this is where everyone was waiting for and pretty much what everyone wants to build is an airship. Colonel Bob? You know a lot about airships, I leave it in your hands. We built Yay! this awesome platform, and uh, this little ship here, this base, and I gotta say, I like it. My own creation, I like it. Okay, as you can see, it is lying on top of sand, we built it on the sand. And there is two reasons for that. The one is so that it will, we can have a place to stabilize it, and another one is when you assemble your ship with your physics infuser there is a number of blocks that do not get assembled so we built that little boat up into the air and then we assembled it and it fell into the water so you don't have to build it up into the air you can build it on the ground and the blocks that don't get assembled is air dirt grass stone tall grass water flowing water sand sandstone gravel ice snow Lava, flowing lava, bedrock, end portals, and a portal. Shoot, that's Remember a lot. also, water can be placed on ships to make a farm and that. Anything that you put on your ship after it has been assembled will stay there. It is only when you assemble your ship when it does not assemble those blocks. So you can build anything on your ship after it has been assembled. When you are building airships, there are some things that sometimes go wrong and that is disastrous and then you <laughs> need to be able to uh, land a bit, so yeah. So let's put the physics on fuser on this bad boy and then we can start building. This is also the first thing you always need to put down on a ship. Uh, we'll just put it here at the back, but I want to rotate it like this, put it in here, assemble ship. Now it has been assembled. But if I'm correct, the sand didn't assemble with it. Um, yeah, let's I think, see. It, I think it's not assembled. Okay, well, it didn't take the sand with it. We'll see when we left off. So now, works on actual physics. I find it easier if I build four compressors, lift compressors, and that actually helps to balance the ship. So the way I do it is I chuck four compressors in four corners as far away as I can. Um, this is like a um, quadcopter you can say. Yes, we are building an air quadcopter. <laughs> a DJI Minecrafter. Alright, and now I need that uh, wrench. spanner. Spanner wrench. wrench thingy. You will see, it will do this weird stuff. This is just a glitch. A Valkyrian scuff, how the stuff is being rendered. The stuff, it, it still works. It's just a glitch, so don't worry about it. What are you I'm, doing? No, I'm, I, I'm OCD, they must point in the right direction. Then try the other, try the other one to the left. Ah, yeah, I'm working on it. Hey, man. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just gonna sit here now and wait for this. Now we're gonna wait for three hours until I figure out. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's one. That's the one. So I want them all. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! Right. Let's try again. There we go. That's two. <laughs> there we go. That's three. Last one. Wait for it. Huzzah! Okay. Finally, we have all four on the corners. Now, what I do is I put some dampeners down, but I'm not gonna do Stabilize. that. Stabilize. The first thing you need to put down is the lift and the relay. Lever. So, I'm just gonna decide here. Yeah, it's better when you are the building your ship to design around where you want to put things. Yeah, it's good to design your ship and have an, a general idea where you want to put all your redstone, wiring, and all and the like features. That, yeah. All these accoutrements. Right now, Clone of Bob is planning this will be the control system. This will be the cockpit. Yes, and I'm just putting some stuffies there so that I have place to put my redstone and all those things as well. Okay, so I'm going to put the left lever. I'm going to put it there. 
And now you cannot connect the left lever to the uh, you, you motors can, without a relay. Re relay. So I'll yeah, connect so them. I'm going to put a relay. Oh, you already put the relay. Yeah, I'll right, just put cool. it there. You can also put it on the wall as well. No, leave it. That bottom one is nice. Yeah. Okay, so right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, right click, and shift right click, and it's connected. Now it must also connect to the back. But so now I'm the problem is when we, when we showed you in the basics, the most farthest a relay can go is eight blocks. So Doesn't it six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, eight blocks is the maximum. Let's see. No, eight. it's six. Seven then. Now but you counted one, two, three, four, seven, nine. Something uh, like okay, eight. that like that's the maximum length. Let's see. Right, okay, so that one three, goes four, there. Five, Let's six, seven. One. Yes, it's seven. We're not using the invisible wire because we want to see what we're doing. And I'm sure it's for, uh, it's close enough to do this. Yeah, it's close enough. So there we go. Okay, so now we've got our. Uh... But let's enable physics. There oh, we go. Yes. Physics has been enabled. Okay, so you will see that the ship is maybe somewhat unstable. I don't know. Lift it up, Mister. I'll lift it up. Here we go. Let's see if the sand comes with it. Yeah. No, sand doesn't. <laughs> oh no! <Yeah. laughs> and this is why. <laughs> You build your ship where you can land it. Oh no! <laughs> All right, once you land it, it might settle down a bit. <laughs> and that is why I built my ships on an island. So I'm going to put some dampeners in. Stabilizers. And dampeners, both of them. So I like to put two, one of each, a dampener and a stabilizer. Uh, uh, at each motor. So, so wait, you put the, a so you put a damper there and a stabilizer. Yes, ah, okay. one damper, one stabilizer. One damper, there, one stabilizer. One damper, Let's there, see, one stabilizer. Uh, now, wait for it. Are you wait for it? Let's see what it does. Huzzah! There we go. We got an airship. So now we've got an airship. So the next step, of course, is to get this guy to go forward. Build let's, your control system. Let's do differential steering just to show how it works. But it's very straightforward. But the, now the, the problem I'm is... I'm going to use regular redstone because there's lots of space here to get to. Yeah, but you uh, might need to get a repeater to... Okay, I'll help yeah, you. Yeah, we'll see I'll... now. Okay, but how do you want to connect the redstone now? See, this is now where you do planning of... In a very boring way. <laughs> in a very boring way. But this yeah. ship isn't combat ready. It will be destroyed if a cannon shoots it and stuff. Because you need to hide your valuable stuff. The stuff you need to protect is this here. Because if this breaks, your ship will tumble and that stuff. As you saw. We'll, 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 we'll shoot at it and show you all the lovely destruction. It's fine. Okay, yeah, we'll just shoot it with Violetta cannons, yeah. why not? I, I, I don't love this ship. I, I, I don't care if I destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna use boring redstone? Not sticky redstone, and you can do all the complex things? No, boring redstone for the win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, if you know how redstone works, I'll and put, then I'll, sticky I'll put redstone? Some sticky redstone in a. Uh, um, one of your fancy ships. We must show your ship off. Oh, by the way, you won't see the other ships in the distance. It's because um, this is an entity and it only renders till 60 blocks. Right, so let's see. We can turn now. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you need a repeater. It's not turning. It's because you need a repeater. Turn on no. the redstone signal. Okay. Yeah, just plonk it down here. Redstone! Hey, it works. There we go! This one here as well. So this is and what steering way, again? This is called differential steering. I like mine want, more. If you want to turn left, you turn the right engine on. And if you want to turn right, you turn the left engine on. And if you want to go forwards, you, you turn, turn both, both engines on. on. So there's our lovely airship. That's pretty much everything. Gotta say, it looks really good. 
Right, let's kill it. Uh, very well then. <laughs> I'm on the cannon. Are you ready? Uh, oh. <laughs> I think it must be closer. Oh no. Oh, now it's flowing up. Oh, I can hit it. <laughs> Come on. No, it's too far. <laughs> It's drifting away because it hasn't got a lift lever. Uh, you know what? In this thing... Oh, I shot the lift lever off. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Oh, we just do this. Oh, shit. Yeah, but... And it's all because of this damn stabilizer. <laughs> it's falling. <laughs> now it's a submarine. <laughs> it's now a boat. Now it's a boat. It's drift floating. <laughs> and now we just give power to this propeller. Now we go! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss uh, uh, Bob, you want to show your um, awesome vessel? Yes, I would. <laughs> Spin around it. This is a, a blimp. It's a blimp design. Yes, it's a. It's trying to be a modern blimp. And then uh, we he actually about... made a better ship before this one, and that's the, the one I'm using at the, as, as a thumbnail. As a thumbnail. Okay, and then, really good ship. And then just reverse a bit, and if I push this lever, I've got a, a... This is using... The drawbridge. Uh, drawbridge. And if I want to close the door, it's also drawbridge. What's this one? I don't know what that that's is. That's the one for the... Uh, Oh, and then you yeah. use the drawbridge for the door. Yes, that's for my big door. This is your control system? Yes, and that's forward and left and right. And if you look up, you've got strafe left. Ah, you got strafing. And strafe right. And the reverse, at right and front, there's reverse. So everyone's ship... Oh, so remember, when you design a ship, everyone's ship will control differently. And if you look at the, the redstone paste... It's on the wall and goes in the balloon. <laughs> okay, here at the back is the party area. This is where you party. Yeah, R2Y, because you want to. <laughs> and then if you go up the stairs here, you get the storage. Yeah, you can do and storage and everything the on the vessel. The suite... Where you can have a little sauna and, uh, and a, a passenger seat there chair. And you can actually bed. craft this. Oh, one thing we didn't mention about Valkyrian Skies that is very awesome is you can use your ship or your airship as your base. Yeah, when you can you... sleep in beds and you can respawn on your ship. Yeah. So, it, irrespective of where your ship is on the map, you will spawn on your bed on your ship. Yes. But there's also a little glitch. Sometimes we find you spawn and then you drop one level. So it's yeah, always you fall a good through idea. your ship's level. Like, you fall yes. through your ship. It's always a good idea not to put your bed on the lowest level of your ship. Just have some blocks below your bed. So if I'm correct, if you fall down, you fall down here in this room. Yeah. And then I want to also just uh, climb up here. And then this is the, the top. Eh. But I want to have you to show them here. The interior of go, the balloon is where all your redstone is. Where all, this is where all the redstone and control systems and things happen. And Valkyrium, it's all hidden. And his in physics infuser. Yeah, and here at the back is all the motors for turning and all these things. And he's realized that... Are you using the visible wire? I am using invisible wire because I don't like the wire coming through. Well, in the uh, envelope, I could have used the regular wire. Yeah, but because you you know. hidden it in the balloon, so it wasn't a problem. Yeah, but no, but there will be a wire coming through to the left lever. Okay. How do and you I exit this thing? <laughs> I think I gave it the name. It's gay. Name is Floaty McFloat Face. That's the name. <laughs> Floaty McFloat <laughs> Yes. Oh. oh, there's our thingy there. Well, that's pretty much everything we can talk about Valkarian Skies. Is that pretty much everything? 
Yes, except for the stuff we didn't talk about. Yeah, because that stuff is broken and we don't pretty much use it. You can use the captain's chair and that stuff, but that's boring. Who wants to use that? This is more fun. And the passenger seat is just to seat and you can see that blue chair there, that's a passenger seat. It does have a crafting recipe. Uh, let me show you the recipe of that. So yeah, you can craft it. And the captain's chair that no one uses because it's cheating and it's boring and yeah. <laughs> if you are familiar with um, Da Vinci vessels, the captain's chair basically works like Da Vinci vessels. But you do have to assemble your ship the regular way with the physics infuser. And then you plonk the captain's chair on it and you don't need motors and thrust vectoring and volcarium and all those things. Then it works pretty much the way that um, how the Vinci, Vinci vessels, vessels and all that work. but we don't use it because it's more fun to walk on the ship and do things while it's moving right. and if it's a big ship you need more than one person to fire the cannons and to walk it depends of how you design your ship of course because it's I make mine work. all it's a one person ship but also remember you can build huge stuff you're not limited at uh, how big you can build you can actually build huge I think 16 chunks or maybe more i'm not actually sure you can build huge things if you change the configuration file the default is 16 but uh, you can make it up to 32 chunks yeah so yeah so you can build huge i think that's everything thanks colonel bob for being here okay bye check bye. out my youtube um, channel that doesn't exist <laughs> if today's your birthday no one cares! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this was the whole tutorial of Alcarin's guys. I hope the you guys enjoyed it. use it. Don't, don't take this as gospel truth. This is how we use it. Yeah, this is how we use it. Next video will be about how to get my Violetta cannons and how it works. And you can play with it. Thanks! Have a great day. Bye! Bye!